Now, I was supposed to rate people from zero to 100 in certain items, and I discovered something. If you gave a salesperson a 62 in something, what does that convert to in a leather grade? That's an F, right? And I discovered if I gave a salesperson an F in something, what's the chances of them leaving that meeting in Atlanta, flying back to California, and taking one of my clients to breakfast? Wasn't going to happen because I told them they were a failure. So I never gave anything below an 80. And they go, oh, an 80, that's kind of like a B minus, uh, C plus, whatever. They go, oh, but I need to do some work on it. Yes, you do. And this is how I think I can help you. I also gave nothing above a 99. And I said, the only way you get a 99 is if you do something presidential. And they all went, cool. So for two years, I gave out lots of 99s until I had a salesman named Joel who lived in Connecticut. And at that particular time, President Ronald Reagan was giving the commencement exercise at the United States Coast Guard Academy in New London, Connecticut. We had just made a major sale to the U.S. Coast Guard, and they were outfitting every single cutter in the fleet with one of those scopes to look behind false bulkheads for drugs and all of that kind of stuff, and Reagan was doing the commencement exercise. Somehow, that salesman managed to get a picture of President Ronald Reagan looking through our probe, standing in front of the Commandant of the Coast Guard Academy with Olympus on the side, and we made the front page of the Boston Globe and the Hartford Current. And that salesperson came into my office and slammed him down on my desk and said, is this presidential enough for you? <laughs> 117, <laughs> 117.